A retinal detachment is a very uncommon condition that can affect almost anyone. It commonly affects people over the age of 50, and it results from the aging of the natural gel of our eye. In the back of our eye, we have a gel called the vitreous. Over the course of our lifetime, this gel converts from a gel-like structure to a liquefied substance. And in doing so, also separates from the back of the eye. That is, it separates from the retina. And in doing so, it can result in tearing the retina, causing a retinal detachment. In this process, a patient may experience flashing lights, sudden onset or a shower of floaters, and sudden loss of vision. This is an example of a patient that we can see with a large retinal detachment. You can develop tiny holes or tiny tears under which the vitreous travels to cause a retinal detachment. A retinal detachment can be treated with either a vitrectomy, which is done in the operating room, or a procedure in the office known as a pneumatic retinopexy. A vitrectomy is a procedure which is done in the operating room. It's around 45 minutes to one hour, and it involves removing the vitreous from the back of the eye. The vitreous is then replaced with a gas which allows the retina to heal and reattach. During the vitrectomy procedure, laser is applied to the retina once it is reattached and a gas bubble is placed. A pneumatic retinopexy, which is an in-office procedure to repair a retinal detachment, involves lasering or freezing the torn areas of the retina and then injecting a gas bubble into the eye to help the retina heal and reattach.